true. You have failed this week's task. Oh my god. How was it? You are free <laughs> from nomination this week. Any votes cast against you will not count. I can't be comfortable around him with what I say and what I do. He's extremely lazy. I think that he's very two-faced. He's just a little insincere. I don't trust him. They're the mole. I'm not the mole! Now, because your journey as an insider and then self-appointed insider was really your whole time in the Big Brother house, mm. we're starting, that's like the first instalment. Now, I just want to tell you, because I, I'm getting the feeling from you, first I must congratulate you, you were an excellent insider. I very, I very good. I did a very good job. No, you did. You did a very, very good job. But I just want to tell you that the first week you were up for nomination because you didn't succeed in finding the relationship. But I was up anyway. But you were up for nomination, but you had more saved votes than anyone who was up for nomination that week. Mm. So it didn't make you unpopular with the audience sure. in any way whatsoever. I'm not concerned about the audience, thank you. If you're unpopular, I'm confident within myself, so that's no, not no, an issue. It's a game, and they vote. So, you know, it is about what, how people perceive you. So listen to me, because in the beginning, when you were an insider, it did not work against you. Mm. You were safe from the second nominations and safe from the third nominations, mm -hmm. okay? This is the fourth one. This is the result of it. So when you were appointed by Big Brother, you were in fact safe and popular. It's when you became the insider, self-appointed, that it all went pear-shaped. You shouldn't be here. You know, you're a great housemate. But I look, just personally, look, it People think about what happens outside here, but I was dealing with the people in the confines of the house and I predicted that I would continue to receive votes because of it, so I needed to do something to stir things up this week. That's what I did it. And I, my Why did plan, you need to do something to stir things up so that people would nominate others? So people would start finger pointing other people and experience what I went through the first few weeks of the house. So, I mean, look, it didn't work for me in regards to the outside of the public, but it, I think it was going to work for me within two weeks within the house. So, so you reckon if you'd had another week, you would have been all right? No, I, I think I would have gone up again this week. I think next week I would have been fine. OK. Were you ever going to tell them about the toothbrushes? <laughs> we'll save that for after the break, shall we? Yes, we've got more of Mikey after the break. Stay tuned. Last week, the brother promised you an extra reward. You succeeded, and as a result, your housemates are surviving on staples. I just want normal food. Like a big parmesan or yeah. pizza or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. You have exactly five minutes to eat. Slam and lasagna. I feel like I've done the deal with the devil. It smells like food. Oh, yeah. How's the garlic bread? Oh, it's very tasty. It smells exactly like the rewards room. What are your housemates eating for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. How's the garlic bread? Oh, it's very tasty. It smells exactly like the rewards room. What are your housemates eating for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. I saw her, I was like, damn, she's, she's, she's hot. Yeah. Can't deny she's hot. As gorgeous as Crystal is, there is no way um, we're compatible. Let's just agree to disagree because... But I'm not disagreeing. We're on different you... wavelengths, basically, Michael. Oh, she's a talented girl. She is. But um, she is. her personality just ruins it for me. You put blush on for this. Yes. How does it affect you? <laughs> How does it affect me? I don't care, I'm not that vain. Even when I was, you know, keen on her, I thought she was great. There wasn't strong dialogue, you yeah. know? You were just busy looking at her boobs. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm joined by Vicky number five, Michael. Now, Michael, you and Crystal were drawn together like magnets at the very beginning. I assume that was an intellectual <laughs> yeah, relationship. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was the magnetism there? What was going on? Bosoms, was it? Was it bosoms? <laughs> She was cute, you know. She, right, look, she's a gorgeous girl, without a doubt, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, she relies on her looks too much, which is a bit of a shame. So when did she stop being cute? I thought it was exactly the moment it was announced that her mother was in the house. Yeah, that had a big part of it, because then I started seeing, how, like, how much her mother was in it for the money and how, like, you know, financially orientated she was, which so it was a huge turn-off. I'm like, you know, if that's the way her mother is, and then I started speaking to her, I started discovering that's the way she was as well. So it was a massive turn-off. So, so did you go into the house to win the money? Yeah. 
So do you think people should be turned off if that's why you went into the house? No, but see, I went in there and I actually started building relationships and friendships with people. Well, so. I think Crystal's building one with Galen. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, they've been doing a bit of passion. <laughs> yeah. They, are you jealous? No. You're not. Well, you wouldn't be because you have your own relationships, for example, with Reuben. <laughs> now, I have to remind everybody, Reuben was a result of your final challenge. Big Brother said to you that eight people had to nominate you. Yep. And if you did, they did, then you would not be up for nomination. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the Reuben journey, All which right. was a fairy tale in itself. I hope you ain't upset. I think I may um, have to pull out of this game. And I, I wish I could just sit here and tell all of you, but I don't really feel comfortable discussing it. I fully respect that by you saying to us this is hard, that it's got to be something big in your life. So we, I can speak on everyone's behalf that we'll totally respect that. Well, the performance, you know, has begun. I, I was basically a father before I came into this house. Mm. And now I found out I'm not. Right. Okay. You know when I found it, because I did two paternity tests, mm -hmm. the first test that I did, I got the result back, and they're 99.9% .9 accurate. But I did two, because I wanted Reuben to be my son. I'm going to lose Reuben, you know what I mean? And so that's why I had such a difficulty, and I didn't want to talk about it, because Reuben watches the show. Well, I have him two, three, sometimes four times a week. He you know, so it's very happy. Like, I've got him playing rugby and athletics and stuff. And I can't believe, what's his name? Reuben. That's yeah. just amazing. I just hear a dad. <laughs> Really, Marky? Yeah. He's nine, June 30th. Yeah, the kid already speaks English, Italian, French, and Spanish. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he's a very smart kid. The one thing I've always taught Ruben is like that the saying that we always have is you never quit anything. You know, I'm always going, let me do that task. Yeah. Yeah, because I know he's watching. And you want And I was trying to set a good example for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard task, you know, your dad will do it. But I have to put a, a positive spin on it and. Yeah, keep a brave front for Ruben. Yeah is bringing the unenviable position that you're in yeah. up, is it part of your strategy? No. At all? No. Whoa! That must have been tough, lying straight to David's face. Is it tough lying like that? Because you had to do it a few times. People confronted you with, are you the insider? Is this part of a strategy? What was that like? Look, it was difficult, and I, I specifically picked that story because I really didn't want to hurt anyone in the house, and so I thought that was going to be the easiest for people to take and understand, and um, I did what I did, so... So let, what, what options ran through your mind? You had to get eight people to nominate you, yeah. so you could either be a real dickhead... Yeah, but I had to live with the people afterwards. Yeah. So I was going to tell them, you know, stories that my father was sick, my mother was sick, I needed to get out of the house. Um, I came up with a bunch of scenarios, and that was the best one that I thought, if I had to come out and tell them it wasn't true, that they would be able to take back. The response I got was a little bit shocking. I didn't it was a little bit shocking, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? I never heard about Ruben's mother. I'm interested. How is she? She's good. She's living in Sydney. Is Her name's how, Emily. How old is she? I think she's 23 now. 23, yeah. so she had the baby when she was 16. Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to say hello to I was going to Ruben. use my ex, Emily, and say that it was hers. She, I was basing it on a, on a true girl, so... But no one ever asked about Emily, No one so. ever asked about the mother. No. That'd be bloody right, wouldn't it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right, let's go over here now, because what we want to see is the result of when Big Brother announced to the house that you were the insider. As you said, you could never have anticipated what would have happened. Let's have a look. Housemates, it's time for you to meet the insider. Last night I started, started to um, begin the story in relation to my son Ruben. When all that stuff was coming over the big screen and stuff, I was looking and going, tell me Ruben's true, tell me it's true. And then I realised it wasn't, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. I had to pick something that was going to get a story and I was trying to pick something that wouldn't upset people. What do you think that wouldn't upset us? Half of us don't live with our father. Chris doesn't even want my dad. I, no, I didn't know that. What, I didn't you knew I don't live with my dad. dad. My dad's wait, been wait, 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 wait. for so long. This is, this is not right. I really took that home, that story. So you should. So you should. We're human beings, we're meant to be polite, we're meant to hear people's problems. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. You can't be angry at people for getting angry. I'm, no, I'm not, but I'm not angry at, I'm not, I'm not angry at them. I'm but I can see you're frustrated. And he got me in and I was told after the, like, the third and fourth day, I can't remember what day, that I'd be evicted straight away if I didn't, if yeah. I didn't do it. So what else was I going to do? Not angry at Mikey, but I don't like liars. 
I just probably would have drawn on something a little bit more truthful.